to acquire Ian Kinsler from Tigers. Orlando, Florida, the Detroit Tigers were not bashful about their plans. When they arrived at the Major League Baseball winter meetings on Sunday afternoon, their main goal was to trade second baseman Ian Kinsler. During the first few days, General Manager Ala Villa's lieutenants spread that word to interested teams throughout the lobby at the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort. Each evening, Avila remained optimistic that the Tigers would find a landing spot for Kinsler. On Wednesday night, they did. The team has agreed to trade the veteran second baseman to the Los Angeles Angels, according to Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic. The deal has not been finalized according to multiple persons with knowledge of the situation. The team's return for Kinsler is not known but likely will not match his performance because of a number of factors his contract, the trade market and his no-trade clause, working against the Tigers this week. Combined, they gave Avila little leverage in negotiations. Still, the Tigers were committed to moving Kinsler as part of the next step of their rebuilding process. More. Yankees could make offer Tigers can't refuse for Michael Fulmer more, nine players Detroit's Tigers could select in Rule 5 draft Kinsler, 35, remains one of the better second basemen in baseball, despite a down season in 2017, when he hit .236 with 22 home runs, 52 RBIs and 14 stolen bases. Over his 12-year career, he has been a consistent player both offensively and defensively, hitting .273 with 234 home runs and 225 stolen bases. He is a four-time All-Star. Kinsler is under contract for an affordable $11 million in 2018, but now more than ever, teams are interested in players with team control. He is scheduled to hit free agency after next season. Between the trade and free agent markets, there were more second basemen available than teams with needs at the position. Those teams expressing interest, the Mets, Brewers and Giants were involved in recent days, do not have incredibly deep farm systems. The small market Brewers likely did not want to absorb Kinsler's entire contract. But perhaps the biggest influence on the trade was his no-trade clause, which essentially offered him control in choosing his destination. All of the other teams interested were covered on Kinsler's no-trade clause. With his departure goes another part of a disappointing Tigers era. Kinsler joined the team four years ago in a one-for-one -one swap with the Rangers for first baseman Prince Fielder. In four seasons in Detroit, he was solid at second base, a consummate professional who impacted the team's play in many ways. But despite coming out well ahead in the deal fielder played just parts of three seasons for the Rangers due to a neck injury the Tigers were only able to piece together one postseason berth in his time with the team. With the trade, Dixon Machado is expected to take over as the Tigers' full-time second baseman next season. Contact Anthony Fennick, a Fennick at FreePress.com. Follow him on Twitter at Anthony Fennick.